Hello everyone, welcome back to Oral Battle. I am Paradox Gamer. Thank you for joining me here. Today, we are going to start up the new Winter War DLC. As you can see here in the front, it's the beta version. And it's the latest beta, which is uh, 265. And the game is in uh, this version, as close to the um, to the end product as it will probably get. And I have uh, had the opportunity to uh, show you guys the new campaign. Um, so thanks to the developers for letting me showcase this new DLC. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll go here and it says Window War. And we'll click that. And as you can see here it says three months after the outbreak of World War II, the Soviet Union declares war on the neutral nation of Finland. Under the pretext of seeking territorial changes to protect the city of Leningrad, the, the vast Red Army envisions a quick victory against the small and poorly equipped Finnish defenders. So let's try and launch this campaign here. The Winter War. In order to secure the, uh, its borders in the Baltic region, the Soviet Union has demanded Finland to cede territory around Leningrad. After the suggested territorial changes are refused, the massive Red Army prepares to achieve them by force. So welcome to the Eastern Front. Uh, so far the Order of Battle uh, campaigns have exclusively been taking place in the Pacific region. And uh, now the developers are turning their attention to the uh, European Theater of Operation or ETO and the natural a uh, place to start is the winter war again, between Soviet Union and Finland because that is a smaller uh, smaller engagement and they can cover that uh, in a series of campaigns or series of scenarios in one campaign that is and I really like um, the ETO and I really like also the Eastern Front this is not really Eastern Front it's a pretext to that but anyway um, let's dig into it. So, Ladoga Karelia is the first one. Um, yeah, so let's see what it says here. Um, Ladoga Karelia, December 39. Several Soviet armies have crossed the border and are advancing into Finland. It is imperative to stall the enemy and prevent a total breakthrough of our defenses. So, let's click that. Uh, launch. Let's see what comes next. Looks like a pretty quick loading time. There we go. Mission breathing. I have problems clicking that because I'm in windowed mode. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Right, so several days ago, Soviet units have crossed our border, capturing the town of Suojavi. The overwhelming strength of the Red Army deployed north of Lake Ladoga has certainly caught us by surprise. A whole division of Soviet troops have, has been deployed for each main road leading west into Finland. The enemy intends to quickly overrun and destroy our forces in the area of Ladoga Karelia. It appears, however, that their advance will be confined to narrow roads, as Soviet commanders are unable or unwilling to move infantry and vehicles cross country. Pursued by the enemy advance guard, some of our forward units have abandoned their positions and are retreating in panic. Resolving this situation quickly will greatly benefit our chances in the battles ahead. We may be heavily outnumbered, but the army of Finland, fighting on familiar ground, must stand firm and use the harsh terrain to halt the Soviet advance. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, primary objectives. Defend both primary VPs. So we got one down here, Laimola. And up here, Tolvajavi. We gotta defend those two. Alright. So secondary objectives do not lose Kola. Kola is down here, this uh, town right here. And the award praised for this praised for his valiant performances and perseverance in the face of the enemy a new commander will be promoted in the Finnish army 
So we gotta hold that the entire game. Also evacuate the cargo trucks. So we got two cargo trucks up here, we need to evacuate those. Additional supplies and resources will be available for every truck that exits the combat area. Allowing us to deploy more forces against the enemy. So where do we have... Oh, I can't... yes I can see. Um, there's an exit up here. There's an exit down there. Okay. Um, hold the Aicho Jockey Bridge for 8 turns. That's this one. Defensive positions will be created along the Achijoki River. So 8 turns. Okay. So we gotta get the trucks up here and exit. And the trucks must survive of course. And then we have to hold this bridge for 8 turns. Now uh, let's pause a little bit and take a look at what we got. So these guys are Finnish Infantry 38 with uh, Infantry Attack of 10 and Mechanized Attack of 2. And then over here we have more 38 and then we have the Engineers 39. We have 8 Attack and 8 Defense. So these are our regular infantry units with 10 attack. Let's see what we are up against here. Soviet army, Soviet infantry in 39, they also have 10. Soviet conscripts only have 5 attack and 8 defense. So they are much easier to kill. Or at least we suffer less damage from them. More conscripts here, more Soviet infantry. And this is Soviet Infantry 37, so they're old to date and slightly worse than the Soviet Infantry 39. They also have a artillery piece here, 76 millimeter. That's what we can see at least. So down here we have more engineers. And then we have Finnish Infantry 38 down here. There is a bunker. And that's about it. Then we have three units that we can deploy. And we got additional 14 command points. Uh, so these will take up nine. That means we have additional five command points. We can buy something extra. Okay, so. Should probably defend the bridge up here and then defend Papero. Or maybe just behind Papero. Hmm, so we already have one infantry unit down here and two up here, but these are both um, under strength, seven and five respectively. But let's put one more down here to defend this town. Put them right there. Uh, so these are our core forces, and we gotta remember to uh, distinguish them. So they are yellow. They have yellow rim against the black rim. Now this is important, so we need to not spend too many uh, requisition points on the units that I will not get to keep. I get to keep these engineers up here, that's interesting. Okay, so then we need some guys to defend up here as well. Um, they cannot be deployed on the front line though, so we have to deploy them back here. There we go. And then I got one more. Hmm. I seem to be a little thin up here. But also thin down here. I'm thin all over the place. Uh, let me get let me get one more down here. Uh, they can dig in in the forest right there. And then let's purchase one more. So let's see what we got here. We got recon. That's a Blackburn ribbon, but we have no air command points, so we can't use that. Then we got an infantry tab where we have the Finnish infantry 39. That costs 25 and three command points. Then we got the heavy infantry. How much better are they? Let's see. Um, they're slightly better on attack. Hmm. 
They do not seem to be worth it though. Now, they are a lot better on the defense, that's for sure. And we, we are going to be on the defense for quite a while. Probably the whole campaign. And then we got the Engineers 39. We already have two of those on the map. And then we have the Finnish Ski Troops. They are also slightly better than the regular infantry. And I bet they can move a lot faster. They got the Guerrilla Trait. These guys got Light Tread. So Light Tread means... If I remember correctly, it means that they can disembark from trains anywhere. Hmm. Okay, so let's see, the cost is pretty high, 50 for the ski troops. I somehow don't think I can afford these guys. And I think I got enough engineers. So I'm probably gonna go with either, yeah, probably just the regular infantry. And I should probably get that up here. We got four guys down here. Put that up there. And I still got two points, so I could get an engineer, but uh, I doubt I will have the, the points for it. Maybe later on. Uh, right, and the Russians will probably go first. So there's nothing I can do about these guys. Let's see what the Russians are up to, shall we? Take the turn. Alright, so we're gonna get attacked by those guys. Two damage for me and one damage to them. They got some engineers coming up there. These guys are gonna hit me as well. Two damage for me and two for them. That's pretty good. That's not too bad, yeah. And that was the turn. That was a bit strange. Why did they move around with the other guys? Okay. I don't complain. Okay. So these guys can lay in mines. We gotta remember that. Where do I wanna put mines? I could put mines right on the road. But I somehow doubt they would survive that. It's probably better to put mines up here then. Let's concentrate on mining out the approach to this bridge right there. Hmm. All right, first and foremost, let's get these guys over there. And I don't want him to attack my truck. So I should probably get in the way by going up here and then replenishing. Of course, get these guys as far ahead as possible. And these guys can stay there for a bit. Or should they just go back and dig in? That's probably better. Yeah, move over here. Uh, these guys cannot get out of the way though. What if I attack and cause some damage to them? That's a better option. So we go forward and deal some damage to these guys. And then the engineers will be able to probably be okay here. And we'll send these guys forward. Alright, so can I replenish these guys? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Back to seven. I'm pretty happy with this. So this guy has moved, he will dig in in the town. Russians move. Uh, they're not gonna reach me. These guys will. Ah, they can reach the truck from there. But they decide to hit me instead. My unit. That's good. Oh, we got more infantry coming up. They're gonna hit my engineers. At least we deal two damage in return. That's good. 
And these guys are suicide attacking, giving me one damage and receiving three in return. So can we get these guys all the way out? Yes, we can move them back here. We can actually move these guys up and hit these guys hard. These guys are conscripts and these guys are the 37 infantry. Let's deal some more damage to them here. I will not move forward though and then these guys can dig in even further. Let's put some mines here and then retreat back to here. Let's get these guys forward. And get the trucks back to here. Now these guys are in trouble, aren't they? They're gonna move up here and then replenish. And I got six points. I could move these guys up and then replenish them too. Give me a little bit more strength. I need these trucks to get through. These guys are going to dig in, so let's hit the turn. Here comes the engineers. And the infantry. And they're still going to hit me. Causing two damage and taking two damage in return. The engineers are probably going to hit me as well. Yep. Another two damage to me and retreat. So far so good. In the south the uh, Russians are retreating. So that was uh, the first three turns. We need to hold the Aitojoki bridge for another five. Things are looking pretty good down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and dig in. And back here and dig in. Engineers will move back. I only got 13 points. Let's get the trucks over here. And the infantry forward. Move these guys as far away as possible. That's probably up here. Replenish them. Move these guys back. Replenish them. This is where I need the points the most. And then I still got seven left, which I will use to replenish three here and two here All right, looking good in the south so far and I think we're gonna get the trucks through and we got some more infantry coming forward I'm gonna try and hold this bridge for the uh, required eight turns so let's check the Russian turn four comes the engineers and the infantry. Will they attack me at 9 strength? No, they replenish themselves. And we got new infantry coming through in the south. And I think that's a good place to put in a break. So um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first video and I will uh, catch you next time in case you follow this campaign. Thank you for watching everybody. See you next time. Bye bye.